I'm Ksenia Barakis Yoder, the head women's lacrosse coach here at East Stroudsburg University. Obviously this past season, um, as the girls touch on, uh, started off a little bit rocky. It was hard, you know, everyone getting back in the groove. I, I think post COVID we forgot that we like went to class and and participated in a sport and did all these other things. So I think the fall was hard because everyone was trying to figure out how to get back into a groove and it felt like it was harder, but they just hadn't done it in a while. So, and, and ourselves too. So it had been, you know, two years almost since we had had a regular fall season. So um, getting back in the groove, I, I always say this team bought in January 14th on our first day of preseason and they bought in in a way that no other team previously to them had. Um, they were really dedicated. They were always putting in the work, whether it be watching film, coming early, staying late, anything. Um, this team was going to do what it took. You know, with COVID came some post uh, opportunities for people to come back for their fifth year. So as you can tell, we had five, um, which really benefited us last year when um, Madison Mulligan, Tatiana Petaway, and Hannah Sisterl came back having that growth and that seniority um, to come back and lead the team in ways that only comes with with your knowledge and growth of the game right I always say you play smarter when you're 22 than you did when you were 18 because you've grown and you've learned and you've gotten better um, so this team really has just embraced the fifth years and they kind of set that tone of we didn't come back to suck so everybody better figure it out and they did and it's been a wild ride um, you know we had six ACL tears this season um, really made other people set up so step up so all season long we've been saying next warrior up next warrior up and every opportunity that we needed somebody to step up they did and i think that just shows um not only that people have all been bought in but our our depth and our growth potential um is just huge so a lot of people who normally maybe wouldn't have seen as many minutes in the past got to see an ncaa championship final four game and um, I think that that's amazing. So I think it's only gonna be great and beneficial for our program as we continue to move forward and take more steps in the, in the right direction. Beating Queens um, in overtime, I don't think I'll ever forget. Um, that play was just unbelievable. Um, the way a freshman won, won the game was unbelievable. Um, just the whole experience of a Final Four is something that you hope that all student athletes get to experience and mine have been able to do it a lot and that's really cool and um, yeah it, this whole season has just been unforgettable. I'm just super proud of every single one of them for persevering through all their adversities this season and just continuing to be better for each other. Um, their closeness and team family environment is just one to be acknowledged and it's not that's not just the year this year every year um, they continue to buy in and and move the, f the family forward so we're super proud got an awesome staff um, Amber Newman has been our GA for the past two seasons and she's just been extraordinary whatever task she steps up to do and if you know Rachel you know she's the hardest worker in the building so um, super grateful to have such a good staff and um, support system around us obviously has changed within the last few years as we have in, uh, new administrators and whatnot but everybody has believed in women's lacrosse and, and that's an awesome thing that I can say seven years ago I'm not sure that they did um, so I'm so proud of everything that's occurred for women's lacrosse. This season we won our second ever PSAC championship, um, the first one being in 2017. So that's amazing and to have gone to the final four, three out of the last four seasons, is just unbelievable. Um, and to have played in a national championship game as the team touched on is something that most people can't ever say that they did. So um, they got to build memories and that's unbelievable so I'm just sad it's over and sad that we couldn't get two more but um, you know now the process starts and we rebuild and we go again. Being able to have my son and my husband with us um, while we travel for the tournament these last two seasons it has been awesome and I thank the administration for allowing them to come with us you know, being a new mom and a mom during a pandemic was uh, really difficult. And I'd say the fall was hard for me in that point too, as I was getting back in the groove where we were in the office more and, you know, he goes on campus to McKeel, which they're great and awesome, but it's been a transition for everybody. And I think that it's important for my family to be able to experience these things as a family because the team is my family. And so are Ben and Leo. And if they, 
can see me in a different light because now I'm a mom and my family has grown. I think that's great. And they can see a working woman and a mom. I think that that speaks to what, what I hope for them one day and that I hope that moms, my young women can grow into being moms that are working moms and see that you can be, can be good at more than one thing, right? I don't ever want to have to sacrifice being a good mom or being a good coach. I really like being good at everything. <laughs> and I think that there are some really hard days and I have an awesome support system and my husband rolls with the punches as they come and my parents are here and they help us out and the team helps us out. I mean, Maddie Heck is my go-to <laughs> babysitter. Her and Gianna are a good tag team. And I, I just think it's so important. And you know, last season at the final four, three out of the four coaches had newborns with them. And I was like, wow, okay, like this is great. We need to talk about this more. I think it's so important. And um, like I said, I just want to continue to be really good at everything. And there are bad days and there are good days and I'm really tired. And after we wrap up everything with the, co with the team this week, I'm, we're gonna find some sunshine and sand and I'll get to spend some uninterrupted time with my family. But um, the team is my family and I hope that they can see that this is just as important for me as it is for them as well.